So I went to the doctor a few days ago. It's been a really long process of getting all the paperwork in place to have insurance coverage for a vaginal plasty. Now, I know what you might be thinking, oh, she wants a vaginal plasty. And yes, sort of, kind of, this is the thing that I'm trying to figure out because getting a vaginal plasty is sort of like the path no return. And I don't have severe bottom dysphoria, so it's not a black and white decision for me. It kind of feels like that first step, I don't know where you are in your transition, but it kind of feels like that first step when you're thinking about should you take HRT or not. Um, it feels like a very enormous decision. It feels like it'll change your life and um, it could potentially commit you to a path that you're maybe still unsure if you should do it or not. Now, obviously with a vaginoplasty, it's a much bigger commitment because you have physical changes. Um, but that is kind of the thing that I've been um, debating on because it takes two years on health insurance in Germany to get covered. So I need to start the process now. Anyways. I was at the doctor's office. It took an hour and a half to get in because <clears throat> there's not many trans-specific healthcare places and they won't turn away anyone. So there's a very long line. And I went in and talked to the doctor and the doctor asked me, um, is this what you want? Are you sure you want it? And I said, yes. And as he signed the paperwork and I said, yes, I saw within me a future self looking in the mirror and seeing my naked body and nothing down there, just a vagina. And um, I don't know about you, but there's like moments where um, where you, you suddenly realize something. You know, like that moment you suddenly realize that you're trans or that you're not the gender that you were assigned as. You know, you may have thought about it or you had that idea that, yeah, this is kind of like, I think this is it, or maybe you know that it is on some cognitive level. But then there's that moment where you tap into something deeper within you that calls out a feeling and it gives you truth. And this was a moment, this little moment where the doctor just asked me, is this what you want? I, at that moment I could have said no and I could feel that reality and before I said yes, I looked within me to say, hey, is this what you want? And the response I got was that visual, the seeing and the feeling. This feeling of, oh, thank God. I'm a, compl I'm a woman now, I'm complete. And that to me, was, I mean, it brought me to tears. I cried right there at the doctor's office and I held, the doctor extended his arm and I held onto his arm and cried there in that moment. And afterwards, I felt confused because there's a mental part of me that doesn't want to get it, that's unsure, that's scared and that is really just trying to be convinced or trying to convince itself. But this emotional part lies deeper. It lies deeper within the heart and it's an intuitive knowing that goes beyond, goes beyond like what you, um, what you cognitively know. Do you know what I mean? Like are there parts of you where you feel like you knew but you had to convince your mind to accept or to grapple with a complex or maybe just hard to admit thing. I don't know if you've spoken to friends before like this, but have you had a friend who said, oh, I know, like I need to listen better or I need to um, do this better or spend less time doing this bad habit. And they know it, 
but they haven't figured out how to mentally change their behavior or who they are in becoming that better version of themselves. Do you know what I mean? Where is that in your life? Where are there things where you feel like you're still convincing yourself, even though deeper down, you know? Can you find that place within you, that question, to call out that answer, to ask yourself, and, and here, let, me, let me do it for myself first so you can then ask yourself. For me, it was someone asking me, are you, is this what you want? And maybe I can ask that to you. Is this what you want? And fill this with whatever you have this topic or idea with. What is it within you that calls out? How does it elicit a feeling, a deeper sense of knowing within you? This is the power of the question because the question brings out the answer. And until you ask yourself, until you find the question to ask, it's going to be hard to find that place. You're going to keep trying to convince your mind. So I ask you the question, and I want you to ask this question. Is this what you want? Fill in this with whatever, whatever you want to ask yourself. And so I realize and I reflect back on my transition and I can see this happening all the time. Has this happened to you? Where you feel like you are actually trying to convince your mind to accept something that you already know deeper down. This is the knowing. The knowing is the part of you that already knows something deeper down. But your conscious mind doesn't know it yet. You haven't connected the dots into actualizing that part of you that is inherently there and who you are. I find this ironic, but personal growth, when I first started out with growing as a person, I thought that I was reaching for an ideal version, a better version of myself, a better version that I had to go seek out. That was somewhere over there. Have you had that experience before? What I realized and what I have realized through this transition is that it's actually just removing all the things that are not you, realizing that you are inherently the beautiful, most beautiful and most amazing person that you are. Let me say that again. You are the most beautiful and most amazing person that you already are. There are just things that have layered on top of you that you need to let go. And it's hard to let go of them when you identify with them. And it's hard to let go of them when you don't know what to let go of because you don't know what is actually you and what isn't you. Perhaps you already identify with parts of you that are actually not who you are. The only way to find that is to ask the question, to ask yourself, is this really who I am? What do I want? What is within me? Who is calling out? What is within you? What is calling out? I'm Ashley Adamson. Thank you for joining me today. Please share this with a friend if you feel like it was powerful for you. Comment below and let me know. And most importantly, thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to join our community, you can hit the Discord link below, and I'll see you in another episode. Bye.